If you have a Windows computer, then you can access software supported by the university IT services through Apps Anywhere. You'll need to log in to http appsanywhere.westminster.ac.uk using your university login and password. The first time you use it, you'll also need to install Cloud Paging Player and the authorization app on your PC to enable it to work. Now there's a large amount of available software in Apps Anywhere. You'll see that Clustal X is one of the available programs. This is the version of Clustal between Clustal W and Clustal Omega. You can use it, but it is outdated. The programs that we really need to use are FastTree and Muscle. FigTree is also available, although this won't be the most recent version. You can use this version if you find that when you try to download it for yourself it doesn't work. This is a possible alternative. Now to run FastTree and Muscle you click on the launch button. This will open the Apps Anywhere launcher which you then have to authorize to allow it to install the software on your PC. You'll then open a new window on your PC. FastTree and Muscle are command line programs, which means you have to type a command, which will then be carried out. So the window that's been opened is an example of a DOS shell. This is how computers used to work before Windows, and it's a real throwback to those times. So the DOS prompt shows you where you are. So in this case, it's showing you that you're on the H drive. This is where you would have personal file space on university computers. It might open in another location on your own machine. Mine opened in H as I have an H drive, but it's not where the files are that I want to use. At the top, it also gives you the basic instructions on using cluster, uh, muscle and fast tree. To use muscle, you type muscle minus in input file minus out out file and to use FastTree, you type FastTree, input file, greater than symbol, output file. These are the simplest ways to use the program. We're going to use more complex commands with additional command line arguments. The first thing you, you need to do is to move to the directory containing the sequences that you want to align. In my case, they're in D downloads H5N8. So first I move to the D disk by typing D colon. Then I check that I'm in the right place using the dir command, which lists all the files in the directory that I'm currently in on my computer. It shows that there are directories called documents, downloads, Dropbox, and so on. And next I move into the downloads directory using the CD, the change directory command. So I type CD download. If I do dir again, dir again, then I find there's a PDF file and some folders called edu files fireshot as well as h5n8. So I can now move into the h5n8 directory with the command cd h5n8. When I use dir to list the files and folders in that directory, I find that there's two files, a DNA coding file which is 20212 NCBI HA coding H5N8.fast and a protein sequence file, which is 2021219 NCBI HA protein H5N8.fast. The first step is to align the sequences with muscle. The basic command is muscle minus in input file minus out out file. In this case, I'm going to first align the DNA coding sequences. Notice that once I start typing the name of the input file, there's a rapid jump to the name. This happened because I pressed the tab key, which gives you automatic name completion to either a unique file name or the name of the first file that starts with those letters or numbers. As there are two files here with dates, once I type 2021 underscore 2 underscore 15, then I can use the tab key to complete the file name because that's unique. I use the 
same process with the out file name, but I don't want to use the same name for the input and output file because otherwise it would overwrite it. So I add aligned to the file name. I could have added aligned muscle to be more specific. It's still a faster format file, so use the faster suffix. Muscle then carries out the alignment. I then repeated the process for the protein sequences. I used the up key to repeat the command and then I edited it to change the file name. I used the cursor and delete keys to move around the command line and edit as required. By using the different date of the 19th and the tab keys, I saved on typing the entire file name. This time there's a warning as there's an unrecognized J symbol in the sequences. Muscle aligns again, but takes more iterations. And now I have the two alignments, I can run fast tree. If you type fast tree on its own, then it shows you the possible command lines that you can use with the program. So examples are minus gamma to have the gamma correction for science. Uh, another example is the model types minus GTR for nucleotide and minus WAG and minus LG for protein. Now the input to FastTree is an aligned file. You can't put in the unaligned sequences. The output should have the same name as the aligned file, but in, instead of having .fas, you should change the suffix to tree. So the first tree that I ran is a basic protein tree with all of the default settings and the minimum changes on the command line. Next, I changed to using the minus LG model and also the minus quote function, which keeps the names of the sequences in the tree the same as those in the faster file and doesn't shorten them. You can see that there's a change in the log LK, which is the log likelihood of the tree. From the numbers, you can't tell if it actually matters. The trees could still look identical and you need to look at them in tree view to know whether there's any uh, significant differences. I then repeated the process for the minus WAG tree and note that I saved all of the trees with different file names so that I can compare them later. So I added LG and WAG to the file names so that I know which of the different models I used to make each of the different trees. I then ran FastTree on the coding sequence. 
I used the minus GTR and minus gamma options for this nucleotide tree. However, when I started running it, I realized that I'd done something wrong and I typed control C to stop the calculation. This is because I had a warning about the nucleotide characters. It says it's 100% nucleotide characters, but it's trying to do an amino acid tree. So what I had missed is the minus NT command line argument. You need to put this on to say that it's nucleotide. So I added that and run it again. Then it works successfully and I've completed my trees. The only thing I need to do now is visualize them using fig tree.